muchachos, uh, something happens, you know, when I was uh, doing the last problem. So I'll go over again and I just have two more after this. What I was saying before is, look, here we have family in both sides, okay? But you always combine one side first and combine the other side separate, okay? You can combine them at the same time, but remember, separate. One side first, another side after. So here, the family that we have is only these two. So I'm gonna bring down the 40, and when I subtract negative seven plus six, I will get negative six X. And when I combine these two here, five minus two, I get three X, and I bring down the negative 80, okay? So that was the first step I did. What happened is for some reason, uh, it's the, um, the, the phone stopped recording, all right? So once I have combined line terms, I'm gonna start moving from one side to another. And if you notice here, I always told you guys, bring, although I say to, in class, I told you to move the smallest to the bigger value, all right? But in this case, I want you to get used to, to leave the variable on the left side. Because like I told you before, when we're doing inequalities, you have to have the variable on this side. Otherwise, when you graph, you're gonna go in the wrong direction, okay? So get used to leaving the variable on this side and the constant on that side. So what I did is I moved the 3x to this side, all right? So I did minus 3x, minus 3x, all right? And I brought the constant, which is 40, to the other side. So I did minus 40 and minus 40. Then what happened? Because I want my variable here, the constant's gonna cancel. And because I want my constant there, the variable's gonna cancel there. And I just solve nine, negative six minus three, that will give you negative y, negative nine x, okay? And negative 80 minus 40, that will give you negative 20. Now you divide by negative nine, both sides, okay? And your answer should be 13.3, but that goes on forever, okay? So you can leave your answer like that if you're rounded, but most of the time, okay, what they're gonna ask you to do, they're gonna ask you to leave it as a fraction. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna see if I can reduce the fraction. So if I have negative 120 divided by negative nine, and I do math, enter, enter, it gives me 40 over three, okay? So, You have two options, but most likely, you know, like I say, when you, when the number, when you divide a fraction and the number becomes, it doesn't have an end, it goes on forever, you better off leaving it as a fraction. So you just do that and do math, enter, enter, all right, to leave it as a reduced fraction. Now, if that would be 13.5, you could have leave it like that, because that's, you know, that number, that uh, decimal has an end, all right? So I do wanna go do over two, which is like, um, this is like a special cases, and I'm gonna explain to you why. Look what happened here. Let's call it special situations. Look, if I combine like terms, okay, you gotta move the variable to this side and the constant to the other side, okay? But in this case, because they both have the same value, all right, the same one, you uh, can move either one. But I'm used to moving this to the left. So I'm gonna do minus 10x, minus 10x, and I can bring my constant to the other side, okay? So that will be minus 100, minus 100. What happened, guys, here, look. The 10x cancel out, the 100 cancel out, and you have zero equals, that cancels out too, and if you combine that, you have negative 150. And because the variables cancel out in both sides, don't wanna put zero x, because a lot of kids put zero x, just put the x. No, don't do that, all right? That becomes zero, because everything cancels out. And this is false because zero is not equal to negative 150. So that means that the system has no solution, okay? Or no real solution, okay? But for now, you can just write no solution. That's what a special case because the variable cancels out and what we have left is false. Let's see what happened here. Now, let's combine line terms first, okay? I have family here, this with that, and that with that. So 2x plus 1x, that will give you 3x, all right? And 5 plus 1, that will give you 6. Equals, okay, family here, I have these two. And that's 3x plus 6. You don't have to continue. 
you see that they both equation are exactly the same, 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 6, and that is true. Now, let's say you keep continue, okay? If you don't realize that they are exactly the same, so think about it. You will do minus 3x, minus 3x, because you're gonna bring this here, and you're gonna move the 6 to the other side. Then you're gonna do minus 6, minus 6. What happened? 3 minus 3 is 0, 6 minus 6 is 0, that cancels out. 3 minus 3 cancels out, 6 minus 6 is 0. And 0 is equal to 0, so that's true. So that has infinite solutions. That's what they are special solutions, okay? But listen, you don't have to go all the way to this step right here. Once you saw that they were the same equations, 3x plus 4 equals 3x plus 4, you're not gonna have infinite solutions. While here they were different because once you cancel out, okay, you have zero equals uh, negative 150, all right? Or listen, some of the students also could have done this, okay? If I do 10x plus 100 equals 10x minus 50, all right? And I do minus 10x minus 10x you know that they're going to cancel out both. If you get to that point, if you get to that point, you already know also that that's false. So you can either do it this way or you can do it that way because 100 is not equal to negative 50, while zero is equal to zero, so that's true and this is false. So in that case, there's no solution also, okay? So now that concludes our, um, I guess, our lessons with solving equations and for Tuesday we're gonna start with inequalities alright guys so I believe you should be able to do all this because this was one of the topics that you have done for so many years okay pre-algebra year one year two so you should be fine with this alright so good luck and please do good work and remember you have to log in every day okay look um, year one you have to log in from 9.30 to 10 for the live lessons, uh, live sessions, I'm sorry, and year two from 11 to 11.30 every day, okay? So we can uh, mark your present because that's how we know that you attended. Even though if you do the homework, you have to log in to the live session so we can see your face and we can record it and we have proof that you actually been log um, present in the class that day. Okay guys, good luck, thank you and have a good day.